What's going on, every dog man down here? Playing a little Evolve 2. Yes, I haven't really showed you too much lately. Uh, or actually, had a commentary over some of the gameplay that's going on. But, you know, things that have been going on, if if you have been playing, and I still play it all the time, I do enjoy it. I get a couple rounds in a day, at least. Uh, and it's fun for that. They've been updating almost every single week. They do a major update, trying to get the game in order, and trying to get things going. So... The latest update has some more balance changes, uh, Slim's refactor and some economy updates. And the update just a week before that actually brought Behemoth back into the game. So if you've been waiting for Behemoth, he is back in the game again. Um, so, you know, the, they've done some changes here to the silver key pricing uh, due to the increased way players can actually unlock silver keys now in addition uh, of accolades and other silver key games, which I've unlocked a lot of silver keys during some of my missions, and then some of the the gameplays I get like barely any, so it can be pretty random there. Uh, they're trying to make sure it was clear that the value of specific items uh, where and creating consistent prices across the store uh, is a thing. So it's not really fully consistent yet, but. The pricing is there. The pricing is a little bit steep, it feels like, at times, um, for the value of what it is that you might be buying. Uh, but again, you know, this is free to play, so it's not like you're paying money to buy anything. So, just more of the in-game time, the grind, to be able to to uh, get what you want. And, then, you know, that can be good, that can be bad. Obviously, it can be frustrating if you fail uh, and you don't get what you want out of it, but uh, nonetheless, they are updating every day. Um, they brought in some more skins. Uh, they've now got a Silver Key Goliath badge, but that's going to cost you 100,000 keys. It'll include the foreground and background of him, but uh, yeah, you got that badge. It's going to cost a lot of keys. Not that I'm saying anything, because I got over 30,000 keys left right now. I just have to buy a few more uh, characters, if you will, but I'm kind of set where I'm at with the characters that I like to play the most right now. Um, so it's it's uh, it's an interesting uh, way to do it. But uh, I, I enjoy... Gosh, uh, I enjoy at least one character from each of the classes at this point. So, But I haven't unlocked them all. That maybe then that may just be me, but I've, I've unlocked a number of them. I've actually won a couple of them. Uh, I even got them on daily login rewards, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so I'm still playing it and still trying to figure out which characters I like the best. But I think in a follow-up video, I'll kind of talk about the ones that I like playing the most. Obviously, you've seen a couple of them. Uh, they've done some more co-op updates in here. Some improvements to the monster uh, current AI. They've added the Gorgon in and they've added Meteor Goliath in under the co-op versus AI which is the mode that I like to play the most. Um, I'm not much for playing the monster um, but that's just me. I'm more wanting to be on the, the team and playing the co-op and that's just the way I like it. A uh, couple UI updates uh, badge editor and the profile nothing really major and then they've got some balances uh, some passive damage balances on poison and burns that will no longer cancel monsters channeling armor inside the dome um, the slim refactor so they changed the ceiling burst they changed the spore cloud uh, is now replaced with a uh, mutated uh, adrenaline gland a mutated adrenaline gland is an active ability that will grant slim self-healing automatically moving uh, movement speed and jump height, which is actually quite nice. Uh, you can also see the full stats breakdown of Slim's changes uh, as well uh, on the balance list. Uh, I've got it all posted over on the non community forums. They've made some general hunt changes, uh, the mobile arena changes on the dome. Uh, stage 2 health loss is uh, in the dome is now 7.5% from 6.5%. Stage 3 health loss in the dome is now 9.5 from 8.5, so they've upped those stage 3 losses and stage 2 losses. Um, time dome stays up without a hunter present from 5 to 10, so they moved that up there. And successful dome prompt lingers from 3 to 5, or 3 from 5, so they've changed that a little as well. In terms of the dropship, the uh, time per in cap increased. Uh, to 15 seconds from 13 seconds 
and the max dropship timer increased to 145 seconds from 130 seconds. So you really want to work to not die because it could be a while before you get back in game and that could really significantly hurt you and your team uh, depending upon who you're fighting like the Gorgon is a pretty hell beast to play against. In terms of solo matchmaking, uh, the ranked buff for uh, two solo players, they increased uh, bonus health from 15%, or from 12% to 15%. Increased your move speed bonus up to 9% from 6%, and the jetpack regen speed bonus is now 9% from 6%, so they increased that. And a rank one buff for a one solo player, um, it's it's kind of the same thing. The health increase goes from a 9% to a 12%. Uh, movement from a 4% to 7%, and jetpack regen from 4% to 7%. And that's solo matchmaking benefits, rank one and rank two, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, some of the stuff they did there. A whole bunch of changes on the hunters and the monsters as well. But uh, overall, what I'm liking about it is that we are getting consistent updates here. Um, and it's it's pretty good. It's pretty fun to play. I mean, it's not like you know if you you do a couple rounds, you're happy with it. You go on play something else. Come back, do a couple more rounds. Uh, to me, I like that where I don't have to feel like I've got to I got to be in here you know 24/7. Of course, I log in every day to get my free login rewards. I do one or two matches, and uh, I'm a happy camper, and I go and. Uh, play a different game too and that way I don't burn myself out on this one or get too frustrated with it so anyway I'll catch you guys uh, in future episodes like I said I'll talk a little bit more about some of the characters and stuff that I like to play uh, until then thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon